fiery horse with the speed of light. A cloud of dust and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse, Silver, the Lone Ranger... Rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Lobo City! It's going to be trouble! I'll Silver! Away. A shouting, yelling crowd streamed down the main street of Lobo City. And like a small and frightened fox fleeing from a pack of hounds, a slim figure ran ahead of it, making desperately for the cattle train, slowly pulling away from the public corrals. For a long moment, it seemed as if the fugitive must be either overtaken by his pursuers or be too late for the train that was gathering speed with every second. The crowd, sensing victory, gave a long, sustained shout of triumph. But abruptly, the triumph changed to rage. With one last burst of speed, the fugitive had brought himself even with the car just ahead of the caboose. And even as the foremost in the crowd had stretched out their hands to grasp his flying coattails, the figure clutching at an iron bar was jerked from the ground and drawn from the reach of those behind him. The sheriff came to a panting halt and dropped a hand to his holster. Stand aside. Let me get aim. Watch out. The sheriff's going to shoot. Stand aside. Kill the coyote, sheriff. Missed. Dad, get to the telegraph office and tell the operator to wire ahead. Right. Woody, get our horses. We're following right behind. Come on, let's go. Come on, get on there. Come on. Get See that boy? Uh, let me see him. He's hanging on to the side of that car. He can't draw himself up to get his footing. Uh, he's just holding on with his hands. Mm, there's plenty of danger. He'll have to let go, and when he does, he's likely to drop onto those wheels. Oh, no, I've got to get to him. Silver, old fellow, you'll have to catch up with that train. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Get him up, Scout. Hurry, Silver. Hurry on. Hold on there. Hold on. Come on, Silver. Come on. <laughs> Not much 
Father now, old boy. Come on, Silver. Don't let go. Faster, Silver, faster. Hold on. All right, boy, just a little closer. A little closer. Oh, I can't hold on. I'm flipping. All right, Silver. No. Oh. Made it, boy. Hold to the saddle, young fellow. Salvo, head so. I'll Silver. Away. Cat had pods waiting for him, Sheriff. Yeah, and look at that white horse travel. Yeah, that paint, too. Yeah, might as well turn back, Woody. I'd sooner chase after the train than them two critters. What'll we do? They're heading south. Uh-huh. That being the case, I got a notion they've likely got a hideout somewhere back in that brush country. Yeah. We'll go on back to town, Woody, round us up a posse, and then come back and comb that brush from end to end. It'll take plenty of fellas and a heap of time. But no killer ever got away from me before, and I ain't gonna spoil my record now. Get up here. Come on. Get along there, fella. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Short time later in the Lone Ranger's hidden camp, the masked man spoke to the fugitive he had rescued from certain death under the wheels of the speeding train and... How do you feel now, young fellow? All right. Thank you. Arms hurt you? They still ache. Well, rest a bit. And be careful of your hands where you skinned them. And you'll be all right. By the way, what were you running from? Running? Did you think Tato and I didn't know you were making an escape? I, I didn't... And don't worry. You don't look like a desperate criminal to me. You might tell us what happened, though. You won't make me go back. Well, I couldn't make you an outright promise. I would depend. Depend on? On why you left. For instance, you might be running away from home. Oh. In that case, I'd have to advise you to return. You're pretty young to be knocking about on your own, you know. I'm almost 20. Yes? You don't look it. I... That is... I, I mean, I... Stretched it a bit, eh? Well, let that pass. Why did you leave? I... I'd rather not say. Not a thief, are you? I am not. In any kind of trouble? I... Are you? Is that it? Yes. You feel like telling me about it? If... If you don't mind. Yes? I, I'd rather not. I see. Well, what'll I call you? You've got a name, haven't you? My name... Uh, my name's Johnny. Johnny Baker. Johnny Baker. All right, Johnny. Just where do you think you're going from here? I don't know. No plans? No. Any money? Friends? Relatives? Please. Just now, I'd rather not talk. Very well. Try to sleep a bit if you can. You look as if you could use the rest. Tonto. Uh, Tonto here. Bring the horses. Uh. You, you're leaving? Only to get supplies. Oh. And we should be back before sundown. You'll be perfectly safe. This isn't the place easy to find. But I... Yes? N never mind. Before we go... What? I'll make a bargain with you. Uh, a bargain? Promise me you will not leave until we get back, Johnny. And in exchange, I'll promise, no matter what I may hear, I'll not tell where you are. Agreed? You... You won't tell, will you? I won't. You have my word. Then... Then I'll promise. Good. Yep. Come along, Tonto. Uh, See you later. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Why are you leaving? Didn't you hear me, Tonto? I told Johnny we were going for supplies. Oh, got plenty of grub back in camp. I know. I'll be frank with you, Kimasabi. That was just an excuse. <laughs> Not what Tonto think. The boy's admitted he's in trouble. Uh, Even if he doesn't wish to tell what that trouble is... I believe we should do our best to learn it. We may be able to help. That's right. We're going to Lobo City. Come on, Tonto. Let's travel. Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Come on, Silver. Come on. Here's King, Sheriff. We've got a dozen men ready to ride whenever you say the word. Uh, thanks, Woody. 
You back out and tell him to wait a bit. Yeah. Jinx it up. Sheriff, what do you want with me? Just wanted to ask you a few questions before I left for the boys, is all. But I... I now, there's nothing for you to get nervous about. What do you want to ask? You was down by Banker Ashton's place when he was killed. I had a right to be there. You can't go accusing me of nothing. He'd hired me to work around the place. You, you go ask Mr. Jinx if he didn't. Hey, I... what's all this? Well, you said that... I said you was down to the banker's place. Well, if you were working there, what's the fuss about? Nah. Uh, I just thought... Well, that... don't. You ain't cut out for it. Now, what'd the banker hire you for? To weed his garden. No. See him when he left the house? For a second, is all. See him when the shot was fired? Mm -mm. Where was you? In the garden. He, he must have been almost to the street. And what did you see? Just when I, what I told you the other time, I, I heard the shot and looked up. The, the banker was falling. That kid was standing there staring at him with a gun in his hand. The gun was still smoking. Get a good look at the boy? Everything happened too sudden. Well, would you say he was a stranger? Or did he look like someone who might belong around here? A stranger? Hmm. Anything we can identify him by? How was he dressed? Like any other kid. Yeah, that's a help. Well, he had on a pair of blue jeans and ragged kind of coat, and he was wearing a cap. And... Well, that's it. Well, I could go out in the street right now and bring in a dozen young ones just like him. Well, ain't that what I said? My fault he wasn't dressed different? Well, don't get hit up, Chink. I was just hoping. I could identify his parts easy. One was a red skin, rides a paint, and the other a mask fell with a white horse. But the kid, well, unless we find them together, it's going to be hard to say. You can't add anything, eh? I've told you everything, and... Then what? Well, if, if you'd been awake at first when I started yelling and chasing him, you wouldn't have to be looking for him now. He'd be safe in jail. Yeah, likely he would. All right, Jink, that'll be all. You can go. I'll be at the cafe if you want me. Got a swamp out. Not so fast. Hey, what the... A mask man. Yep. You're the same masked man. Careful, Sheriff. You can't... Just keep your hand clear of that holster. How'd you get in without my knowing it? The back door. I suggest you keep it locked. Is this yours, Chief? Huh? I asked if this was yours. It was here on the floor where you were sitting. Well, well that ain't mine. I, I never saw it before in my life. Very well. I'll keep it then. What'd you put in your pocket? You'll see it. I want to know. Later. Now, look here, mister. You can't Quiet. talk. Quiet. Well, I tell Sheriff, you... Sheriff, I came here to get some information. I learned most of what I wanted to know from your conversation here with Chink. But you need correction. Eh? Huh? Donovan, I never saw the boy before. We're not his partners. Whatever he may have done before he escaped from town, we're not concerned at If you weren't his pards, why were you waiting close to the railroad to meet him? We were just riding by. Uh, you don't believe it? When I see you meet that kid with my own eyes? When you come in here wearing a mask? When it's as plain as a nose on Chink's face, you're a crook? Stranger, if you didn't have the drop on me, you'd be behind bars this minute. Adios. Hey, now, wait a minute. I'm leaving the way I came. When I'm gone, call for help if you will, but you won't get the... Hey, you listen We'll meet again. <sighs> Woody, Jake, everybody, they're all back. The masked man, get him. Promised to wait until we return. Uh, He's got to be found. Where we look? I don't know, Kimisabe, but I do know this. Till we find that boy and get his story, I haven't a chance in the world to prove my innocence. Uh, Back to camp, Tonto. Get him up, Scott. Hail Silver Homeward! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. On the way to their camp, the Lone Ranger and Tonto slowed to a trot. And when they had reached the edge of the brush country where they had taken refuge after first rescuing the boy, the masked man suddenly raised his hand in a signal to halt. Tonto, wait. Go, oh, Silver. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, oh, Scott. What matter? See that? Hmm. A uh, boy. Johnny, all right. Heading back toward the railroad. Have an idea. He plans to get another ride if he can. Uh, or... What do you think? Or he might try to reach town. Uh, why him do that? Ashton wasn't killed for nothing. The motive might have been robbery. In that case, he might have had to hide the money in a hurry in order to make his escape. He might return for it. You think boys shoot banker? I... No, Tonto. To be honest with you, I don't. Uh, him all right. I think the same. But he is mixed up in this. Uh, he's admitted he's in trouble. That's right. And he's refused to explain himself. In other words, he obviously has something to hide. Uh, Tonto, I think we'll learn more if we follow Johnny secretly than if we stop him. Maybe you're right. I... He is heading for town, Kimosabe. See? Now he's turned east. He's going to parallel the trail. Uh, Come on, Tonto. We'd better get out of sight before the boy looks back. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Keep behind these trees, Tonto. Uh huh. He's still going on. You think he's got the courage to walk right into town? Uh, may not know. Hold it. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Oh, he's turning up that lane. Uh. That shack. Who lives there? A fellow named Chink Yarbo. Chink? The man in the sheriff's office. The man who saw Johnny shoot Ashton. Uh. Well, what connection can there be between those two? Mm, it heaps strange. I may find out in a moment, Tyler. Uh. He's going to knock at the door. Yeah? Who's there? Huh? Who wants in? Open the door, please. Hey, wait. Well, I'll be. You've got to talk to me. You've got to. The kid that jumped the train. Hey, what are you closing the door for? Why did you say I killed Mr. Ashton? What? Why did you? You knew it wasn't true. Why'd you do it? Now, look. You it... must have done it on purpose. Hey, you know I could take you to the law and get you jailed? What you doing here? I want you to go to the law. Hmm? And tell the truth. Think you've got to. How did you know my name? My uncle told me. What? Your uncle? Mr. Ashton. The banker? Yes. Well, doggone. I left the house this morning just before he did. You saw me go. You must have. I was across the street when the shot was fired and my uncle was killed. Just a second, young'un. I never knew the banker had a nephew. Never knew he had any folks at all. Mr. Ashton was, was my father's brother. Yeah? Yeah, but, but they weren't friends. They hadn't written or seen each other for years. Then what was you doing there? My uncle owed my father money. We needed it terribly. Father wouldn't ask for it. He had too much pride. So I came here to ask for it instead. Did you get it? No. Wouldn't admit he owed it. He had plenty of money. I saw it when he opened his wallet. There, there must have been hundreds. And he told me to get out. <laughs> Kid, it looks like you run the tough luck all around. When I ran away this morning, I couldn't stop to explain to anybody because then they would have thought I really had a reason for shooting my uncle. It'd have been certain I was guilty. And so now you sneak back to get me to tell the sheriff it weren't you after all, huh? You must. Why? Why? But... I told one story. Why should I change it now? You'd let them think an innocent person did it? You'd let them hang me if I were caught? <laughs> That'd suit me fine. Oh. Huh? I... Why didn't I think of it before? Think of what? I was across the street when the shot was fired. I'd just come from the house. You'd been in the garden. You were the only other person around. 
No one else could have come there in just a couple of seconds it took me to leave. <laughs> Beginning to savvy, huh? You fired that yeah. shot. That's why you said it was me. You threw the blame on me so that you wouldn't be suspected. Sure. Oh. Hey, where are you going? I'll tell them. Oh, no, you don't. Stay back. Come back here. Let go. You little wildcat. Quit kicking. Let me go. Let me go. I'll teach you. Oh, my cap. Don't you. You talk. Uh... Well, I'll be switched. You, you beast. Long hair. All done up under this cap. A girl. <laughs> dressed up like a boy. Give me that cap. <laughs> oh, you. Who opened that door? This wallet. The one my uncle had. I saw him with it. That was thrown in? Yes. The mayor's man picked it up in the sheriff's office. That means he's outside now. He's heard what I said. He's in there, Tom. Go in and get him. The sheriff. He... You tricked me. It was a put-up job. You come here to make me talk while the sheriff listens. Don't worry, Sheriff. Well, they won't get me. Nobody's going to take me in there. Him jump out window. There he goes. Heading for his horse. Um, you get him. No, stay here. Let him go. Him kill her? Yes. And he thinks the sheriff heard what he said in there. What's going to happen if we capture him and he learns the sheriff didn't? He'll deny the whole thing. Uh, not right. Get up, get up there. We can't bring him to justice until we get a confession out of him in front of the law. And um, how do it? Hi. You. Come here quickly. The sheriff. Where is he? I thought I heard your call. Never mind that. You want to prove your innocence? Oh, yes. You're not afraid to run a risk to do it? I'll do anything. Anything. Then you're coming with me. Here, Silver. Here, boy. Tonto. Uh huh? Follow Chink until you see which way he goes. Make sure you can pick up his trail again. Tonto, do it. Here, Scout. Then wait for us outside of town on the south trail. We'll be there inside of 20 minutes. Uh huh? Get him up, Scout. Get him up. Get him up. What are you going to do? What? What's your real name? Mary. Mary Ashton. All right, Mary. Into the saddle with you. Put that cap on your head. But and I... hold on. We're riding. Come on, Silver. Stopping. He knows he can't get away. He's going to make a stand. Uh -huh. He's out of the saddle. He's dropping behind those rocks. I miss him. Come on. Come on, old fellow. Shooting at us for must have gone local. Hey, back. Put down that gun, you idiot! I'll show you. The crazy fool shot it right off my head. Rush the coyote, oh, fellas. Oh, we'll fix it. The... Sheriff, look at that. What's that? I said you'd never take me alive, and you won't. Sheriff Chink is local. Going to shoot himself. Hi there! Don't! 
Hold on! I ain't gonna let those pipes to hang, I'll show you! Oh, it was the masked man. The masked man shot the gun from Chink's hand. Why, Come on! Tommy, what are you telling me? What you have to put in for? Because you're going to take your medicine just like any other kid. I wish it had been you I'd filled instead of the baker. Oh, well, I'll be... What, uh... Oh, And if I'd known you was listening outside my place, Sheriff, I'd build you. Hold him, Sheriff. <sighs> so you're the killer, Chink. You knew it. He didn't know it until you just told him. If he didn't, what was he chasing after me for with a posse? He wasn't. I was chasing the mask man and the kid here. What? That's why we rode through town, Sheriff, to get you to follow. We heard Chink admit his guilt. We let him believe you'd been there to hear it also. When he saw you coming, he was certain you were after him. Well, doggone. And this boy you thought a killer... Hmm? ...is a girl. Ashton's niece. Ashton's niece? Ashton's niece? Ashton's did Ashton have a family, Sheriff? Hmm? Well, you uh, know, but... Well, then, Mary, it looks as if you'll be all right after all. All Ashton's money will go to your father. Gosh, I... Uh, well, miss, I don't know what to say. I never fired at a woman before in my life. If I'd only had known, I... <laughs> it wasn't your fault, Sheriff. You couldn't know. Yeah, but, golly, when folks find out about this... I'll, I'll... see to it that you're not blamed. Oh, Gosh, miss, I hope so. <laughs> and you shouldn't take it so hard, Sheriff. Hmm? <laughs> I even fooled the masked man. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.